uh, okay, so last year for Easter, we went over to my grandma's house like we do every Easter. And, uh, you know, we just ate lunch or whatever. We're just chilling. My grandma's like, hey, do you want to help me hide eggs? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I'm helping my grandma hide eggs. It's me, my grandma, my brother, and my one of my aunts. And so they're doing, like, one side of the yard. I'm doing the other side of the yard. And, like, I'm throwing eggs. And, like, I have these eggs pretty well hidden on one side. So I was like, all right, might as well go to the other side. So, like, I go to the other side and start hiding eggs. And I hear, <laughs> I was like, what was that? So I turn around real quick. There's a little baby raccoon just sitting there in the grass. Man just fell out of the tree. This thing's, like, smallest raccoon I've ever seen. He's, like, all squinched up because he did, you know, just fall out of a massive tree. He's, like, all squinched up. He's making weird noises. So, like, I call my brother over because, like, I don't know what to do with this thing. And, like, him and I are just staring at it. My grandma walks over. She's like, oh, it's a mole. I was like, Grandma, that is not a mole. She goes, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Look at it. I was like, Grandma, that is a raccoon. She's like, no, 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 that's a mole. I was like, um, I don't know about all that. My aunt walks over. She's like, oh, no, it's definitely a baby raccoon. And so, like, this thing is dead, right? This thing's about to die. You know, it's about to go up into heaven. Bye-bye, raccoon. So, you know, I was just going to, like, maybe put it off to the side, just let it die. Maybe put it in the bushes. No. Because my uh, whole family comes out, start looking at the raccoon. They're all crying. It's like, I mean, yeah, the baby raccoon is about to die, but it's a little extreme. We're all out here crying over the baby raccoon. So, like, instead of just putting it in the bushes and letting it die, uh, instead, they put a laundry basket over it and call 911. Because that's what 911 wants to be doing on Easter. They want to be coming over and to save a baby raccoon. So 911's like, yeah, we're not dealing with that. So they call animal control. Animal control's like, yeah, we're not dealing with that. So they call, like, 16 other people. Eventually, some guy comes over, picks it up in a little basket, and just leaves. So, like, my whole family, for the rest of Easter, they're all crying. They're like, the baby raccoon, the baby raccoon. I'm, I'm just like, really? We're, we're going to let, yeah, the poor raccoon fell out of a tree. I feel bad for the raccoon, too. But, like, we're going to let it ruin Easter? It was a baby raccoon. That, like, you guys literally hunt raccoons. Like, my uncle will blow raccoons off his trash can, like, all day long. But the second a baby raccoon falls out of a tree, it's an issue? I don't know. So, like, they're all crying. They cry for, like, the entire Easter. It's actually kind of sad. Uh, They got their eggs. But no one really cared about the eggs. No one really cared about anything. Besides, they're like, oh, I hope the baby raccoon goes to a raccoon sanctuary. Like, people, what do we think this is? The people who took the raccoon definitely picked him up and just threw him back into the woods. They did not take care of him. That's pretty much it, though. GG.